Greetings. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Slay the Princess. Last time, well, we attempted to do exactly that for once, and it, uh... I say it went well. <laughs> so, according to that grasping creature, just one more path left, and then everything changes. For the better? Yeah. I don't know. You're on a path. You're here. Yeah. So. I already know well that's what I'm going to be doing this time. Let's see what happens if I yeah, I can't I don't longer have that option. Like the grasping entity said. Uh so let's take the only option left to us here then. It pains me to go along with this guy's manip uh mind control, but things like, well, last, uh, not going, maybe this time things can be different. Things can be better. Okay, there's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. I know you are, hero. You always have been. You bring the blade down to strike at the princess's heart. You're sort of me, aren't you, anyways? <laughs> of course you're gonna be here with me to the end. But she's fast. She ducks to the floor, your blade narrowly grazing her backside. Slaying her won't be easy now that she's free. We could have gotten out of here together. Were you just lying to me this whole time? It isn't me. I'm being controlled. You fool. I don't know what's come up. Ah, she probably won't. But if I have to kill you, then I'll kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. Now that's the princess I know. The beautiful, the captivating princess I know, not the hollow shell she was in the other path. She's beautiful, isn't she? But you have a weapon. You raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. You feel her claws in your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sin you with ease. You collapse to the floor, your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. She stares down at your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness, dress stained in red as her blood and yours both seep. Uh, you know, princess, if these are to be my last words, let them be meaningful ones. I can see right down your dress. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, it will kill her before she can reach the outside world. It can't just end like this, right? It always does, doesn't it? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, Fuck I you. can't deny the reality of what's happened. You- I'm sorry, but it's- uh, That's literally what you were doing just now, by controlling me. You were fucking- You could literally narrate- I don't understand this guy. It seems like he has a great deal of power to just narrate things into happening, but- But only sometimes? What is it, like, fucking- who framed Roger Rabbit rule, where it's only when it's dramatic? I don't know. Everything goes dark, and you die. Alright, chapter two, The Witch. Ooh, sounds fun. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm... Uh, 
getting a terrible sense of deja vu. What would happen if I turned around and left? Nah, of all times. I. You have already. Oh right. My... That. All right then. Let's go. A warning before you Wait, go. Wait, actually no. Let's see. Wait, hasn't this ha already happened? It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. We've just met for the first time, you and I. If he doesn't remember what happened, brilliant. We need to keep our cards close to our chest, and I'm not sure we can trust him. Aha! Voice of the opportunist again! My good man. Always looking out for me, aren't you? You know I can hear you, right? Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? <laughs> Slip of the tongue, bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Annie, aren't ya? Oh, let's see. There's, let's say if you're, we were just weighing our options in a morally ambiguous situation. You can't blame us for weighing our options. Yeah, you can't blame us for weighing our options. What kind of ridiculous person are you, narrator? Such a black and white totalitarian view of the world. Live a little, you know. Stop and smell the roses. Think about- <laughs> I can if you failed to slay the princess, which you apparently did. Eh, so maybe. Maybe not. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. Also, you're- you're always blaming me even when I do kill the princess, so fuck you. And I believe your other question, what do you mean? Yes, but if it's the latter, do you think the people there- That's a very good point. This princess character seems like a lot of trouble. And if you think about it, actually slaying her probably breaks us out of this cycle, right? You wish. We don't want to be stuck here forever, do we? Well, I wouldn't mind that entirely. I, I'd rather- I really would rather linger in some of these- Places a lot longer than it lets me, especially some of these endings. You're laying it on a little thick, aren't you? <laughs> laying it on a little thick? What are you talking about? I'm sharing my honest opinions. <laughs> uh, just because you're being honest doesn't mean you're not being deceptive. What matters is that almost everyone seems to be on the same page. So whenever you're ready, so stop dawdling, get to the cabin, and save the world. Alrighty then. Actually, just be quicker. Let's see. She ki uh, let's see. She killed me by ripping me to pieces. Don't get me wrong, I hated it. But how can someone like that end the world? She just can. <sighs> Believe me, I so wish you I said. could tell you more. You'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Yada yada yada. Yeah, who locked her in the basement? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen all this before anyways. Great. Whatever. She will lie. Don't worry, I think we've taken that lesson to heart at this point. You can trust us to get the job done. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots, the walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happened to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Ooh, this place is neat. Twisted roots. It's as if this whole... Uh... So as if this whole building is alive. In a way that none of the previous ones have been. Certainly not the void one. Or maybe the stranger one. The blade is your implement. Yeah. That's because there isn't. There's definitely a mirror. But he says there isn't one. That's gotta count for something, right? <laughs> uh I guess. <laughs> Uh, 
I trust my eyes. Why would he lie about there not being a mirror? What's the point? I'm still not sure what the de uh, what exactly the deal is with this mirror. It seems to... I don't know. Come on now. He's pretty much in charge here. When have authority figures ever lied about anything? <laughs> if there were a mirror in this cabin and we were supposed to look at it, he would have told us about it. <laughs> okay, you're laying it on a bit thick there, I admit. <laughs> <sighs> exactly. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What? Uh, but of, but of course. And like I said, like I implied before, he's not actually lying. The voice of the opportunist, that is. So you know, he's just like he's saying he's pretty much in charge here, which is mostly true. When have authority figures ever lied about anything? That's a question, not a statement. And if there were a mirror in this cabin and we were supposed to look at it, he would have told us about it. Notably, he's not saying that he would have told us about it regardless of if we were supposed to look at it. Leaving open the option that we, there is a mirror there, but he just doesn't want us to look at it. I like this voice. He's canny, isn't he? Right. This really isn't. You reach forward and rub your. Well, at least we can all agree now that there's nothing to see here. Case closed. Good work, everyone. Ah. Alrighty then. Let's uh take the blade, I suppose. You take the blade from the shelf. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It's interesting. There are a lot of, like, repeated dialogue things throughout these paths, but I've noticed that it's a different delivery every time. It's subtly different, meaning they re-recorded these lines. I think that's interesting. Well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. She doesn't have to know we have it. That's not actually a bad idea. <laughs> you say it like it... like that... Like, complimenting the opportunist's ideas is like wrenching teeth. <laughs> the door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor, waiting to swallow you up into the earth. Also, uh... The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, copper. as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. I don't know about that. I like it. It's very, uh, witchy, I suppose. Well, more of a druidy thing, but no line there is blurry. Her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Call me nasty, are ya? <laughs> are you nasty too, if you catch my drift? Uh, I'm not nasty. Oh, I very much am. Hello. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. In fairness, that was mostly the narrator's fault. I tried. See? Right. She knows us. Is this enough for you to believe what we've been saying? Maybe, but you shouldn't let that cloud your judgment. She's just a princess. As long as you remember that and remain focused, slaying her will be easy. So you said. But I tried that, remember? Well, no, you wouldn't remember. I remember more fo fucking focused than you were. <sighs> she seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. Yeah, that's a spirit. <sighs> you can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. 
There's no reasoning with what she is. And what is she? Besides, well, a princess. And apparently a witch as well, now. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? I'm not certain think, uh, thinking out loud is quite the right phrase there, considering you're just a voice in my head. You're not... but whatever. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? <laughs> you need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. But, that will, but the latter is so much more fun. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Maybe with the help of the opportunist we can- Thank you. Ooh. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. She looks interesting. Clawed feet, a tail more rough uh, clothing that's a bit rougher she looks very nice you can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom she's huddled against the far wall her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots and there you are one hand tucked away behind your back gripping that sharp sharp blade no doubt that's no fair how would she know that so, we've dropped the pretenses. Good. She's acting like she already knows you. I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. So, you really <laughs> don't remember us, do you? Really buttering you up there, aren't you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. For once. You fought us on it back in the woods. That was when the only perspectives we had were yours and mine. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Yeah. I'm not sure we want it to all be be behind us. If it's behind us, that means it can stab us in the back. Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. I'm not sure the narrator is ever going to be happy, honestly. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. Look, I'm sorry about last time. Ooh, smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Mm. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Mm. Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. Maybe I will. Are you even in chains? Oh yeah, I think I can see it. Don't worry, the, bl the blade isn't for you, or not for killing you. We've got to get you out somehow, right? Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. Huh? The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. Oh. Now this, that does remind me of the damsel actually getting out. Although, I think the damsel being able to pull their arm out of the wrist might have been due to the smitten's interference. This is all on her own. Fancy that. She could have gotten out of those the whole time, that sneaky little... Which raises the question, of course, why is she still here? Now, I know that because, you know, the cabin itself seems to be keeping her here, but... Why? What is this cabin, anyways? A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. I like her. I'd like her to hold something else close to her chest, if you know what I mean. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. I get the sense that you're not happy with me. D uh, 
Trust me, that makes two of us. I'm not happy with me either. Yeah, I should have just taken a different path. This just feels... This just all feels tainted with the betrayal that I had to make. I guess I didn't have to make it. I could have just taken a different path, but... Would any of them else... Would, would, any, would any of the other ones have been any better? I don't know. Is that a joke? Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. Alright. Alright, uh... So, the other day, I left my frog parked elite... Uh, no. <clears throat> so, the other day, I left my amphibian parked illegally. Uh, I tried to. I realized what had happened, and I tried to go get back to it before anything happened. Before anything was done, but unfortunately, I got there too late, and it was towed. <laughs> Is that better? Okay. Look, I know, I know, things got messy last time, but I think there's something bigger than both of us at work. We should team up. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord. Did you? You say that like I wouldn't oh, have wanted to meet you. <laughs> I suppose I could team up. I need a way out after all. And unfortunately, you're the only one I have. Uh. Seems to me like she's offering a mutually beneficial arrangement. We should take it. Yeah, she gets to get out and we get to get her out. <laughs> not die, I suppose. Uh, not be uh, be have our guilt over betraying her unwillingly uh, be ameliorated the joy of her company he to hear the melodious sound of her voice you know all those nice things do you know what the word mutually means because it sounds to me like she's offering an arrangement that benefits her and her alone nah I didn't care for how you treated me last time, okay? <laughs> I was the one that was that was attacking her, to be fair. Why do I have, uh, have a nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back if I help you out of here? And why would I do such a thing? Is someone's guilty conscience getting to them? Yeah. But I wouldn't worry. As much as I may hate you, letting you live is in my best interests. If you get me out of here, the only thing that will be dead and buried is the bad blood between us. I don't know. There have been some paths where you've been pretty keen on killing me, regardless of whether it actually allows you to get out, and you have more reason than ever. Well, maybe not more reason than the Razor. Eh, actually, maybe. Considering, at least in the Razor's path, you, uh, I just came in and stabbed you, whereas in this one, I gave you hope and then backstabbed you unwillingly but still uh so you i have you ever heard the fable of the scorpion and the frog but no that's not quite entirely right because the scorpion was stinging because it's in its nature or whatever whereas in this case you'd be stinging me purely out of spite Oh, that nagging feeling you mentioned is me, by the way. I'm actually a little anxious about a potential backstabbing event. Imagine that. She needs us to get out of here. We'll be fine if that's what we decide to do. Maybe. You won't be fine because destruction is in her nature. If she gets out of here, that's it for the world, remember? Yeah, Even yeah. Even if that's true, that doesn't automatically mean she's going to stab us in the back. I think the point was more that we'd be part of the world that gets destroyed. I think that depends on your definition of words like stab and in the back. She might not literally do that, but she could very well symbolically do the same thing. See? He gets it. There's nothing wrong with looking out for number one. Exactly. Uh... All right. Should leave with the princess, leave her in the basement, slay the princess, slay the princess again. I don't want to hurt you, but clearly there's some broken trust. Take this as a gesture of my goodwill. Give her the blade. Now that's an interesting idea. 
give yeah, the Tishima Gavil, giving her the blade. That's yeah, that's not a bad idea. Last time, well, we stabbed her in the back. This would essentially give her all the wherewithal and power in the situation to do the same to me. But willingly. So it's a matter of like <laughs> Yeah. Extending a hand of trust, even though it's very likely that it'll be betrayed in a very fundamental way. Not uh, that's huh. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Well, it might be, but yeah. There we go. I should have done this. I should have given you the blade back in chapter one. I sh I should have. There's a lot of things I should have done. This is something I should have done a long time ago. Oh. You... You can't be serious. I can. Uh, now, hold on. We should put this to a vote. The blade is one of our most valuable assets. We can't just give it to her. What if she uses it to kill us? I vote... No. First off, if she uses it to kill us... Well, we'll just come back, won't we? Uh, and second, this is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship, most of the time. It, well, it's a dicta dictatorship that occasionally has a violent coup uh, to seize power. As do I. I, uh, abstain? Too bad. You abstain? She's going to kill us if we give it to her. Oh? This isn't a democracy. We're giving her the blade. Which, now that I say it, sounds like a uh, euphemism, but it isn't. You're going to get everyone killed, you know that, right? <sighs> but of course you do. You toss the blade at the princess's feet. She eyes it with suspicion before kneeling down to pick it up. I wouldn't have done that. Why did you? Because you wouldn't have done that. And one of us... One of us needs to be the first to make themselves vulnerable. I wasn't willing to do it before. I am now. We can't move forward unless one of us is willing to put themselves at the other's mercy, I suppose. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. What do you think happens now? Yeah. That's up to you. It's why I gave you that blade. I chose last time and I regret it. So now it's your time to choose. We're both scared and we're both hurting. If one of us doesn't make a change, we'll probably kill each other forever. Do you want that? I don't want that. We can be better than this. You're beautiful. I want to actually save you and this feels like the only way to do it. If you like someone I know, you're probably going to kill me. Yeah, I mean, these are all more or less accurate, but... This is probably the most accurate. This is why I went down this path. I wanted to actually save her, and last time, I... I didn't manage that. I just made her... I just hurt her. Back in the damsel path, I just made her... Bless her for being here. She pulls back, clearly caught off guard by whatever nonsense you just said to her. Fuck you, narrator. It was romantic. I thought it was nice. Yeah, thank you, hero. Whether it's nice depends on if we meant it. We didn't mean it. Did we? Didn't we? If you were lying, I did. we'd all know. But unfortunately, you weren't lying. Yep. What? What do you mean by that? What kind of game are you playing? Uh, Slay the Princess. It's a psychological horror romance game or something. The look of surprise that momentarily softened her features vanishes as she steals her nerves. And then she buries the blade in your heart. Yeah, can't say I'm surprised. What? No. Nah, come on, that's not right. I 
told you. I told you this is what she was going to do. Yeah. But it's a necessary step. Besides, now we're even. Well, actually, she already did kill me, so... But we're even in terms of betrayals. Glee dances across her face as you fall to the ground. You don't have to be so joyful about it. Well, as long as she's happy. <laughs> I did it! I got you! You... you... Yeah, doesn't feel quite so good when the opponent lets you in, does it? The princess seems to tremble, her smile fading quickly, replaced with concern. Her nervous eyes brim with tears. Why? Why did you let me do this? I... I hope this makes you happy. But you don't have the strength to respond, nor do you have the time. Everything goes dark, and you die. Once more into the breach, my good friends. Chapter 3, The Thorn. Past Life Gambit, hand your power to a suspicious character. Did You're you... on a path in the woods. I can't believe she actually stabbed us. I can. Let's see if things are better this time. They don't look much better. I told you not to give her the blade. I told you it would come around to bite us. I voted against it. Yeah, I know you only have my best interests at heart, but I don't. Yeah, we know. You already got your I told you so's in while we were bleeding out. Huh. I just wanted to make sure that everyone here knows that I was and am on the right side of that argument. Only if... well, never mind. Oh, you're far from being on the right side of anything. You're fixated on the past, whereas what you should be is fixated on the future. Haha! <laughs> In quite... quite so, my good sir! Ah, the voice of the smitten is back. It's always a good time when he's around. Ah. Uh. Oh, a visionary. I like it. Tell me more. <laughs> Are they actually going to get along? That's surprising. Gladly, my dear fellow. By cruelly turning on the princess in her moment of vulnerability, we made ourselves an enemy. But by mastering our fear and insecurity and handing over our power, we've begun a journey to something so much deeper. Exactly! See? He gets it! I like journeys. Traveling is a bit of a passion of mine. It makes me so relatable. <laughs> now, where are we off to? Love! Well, if we're lucky, <laughs> it's a journey to love. Exactly! Or something like that. She hates us. <laughs> Does she? She hesitated before stabbing us to death. There might just be a kernel of affection in that angry, angry heart. Exactly. You know, we've proved ourselves willing to make ourselves vulnerable to her, to make things right, to make amends, and that's a massive first step in earning her forgiveness. And, yeah. As ridiculous as this guy is, maybe he has a point. I don't know if I necessarily buy into his whole love journey thing, but... <laughs> what do you mean ridiculous? He just has rivers of passion that run deep! Or something like that. Maybe she won't be as keen to betray us this time. Exactly. We've already proven to her that we can change. So maybe she'll realise that things don't have to end in violence. Exactly. And frankly, the fact that things are just looping over and over again proves that maybe things... Nah, never mind. You know, maybe you're right. In which case, I suppose the only thing to do is to get back to the cabin and give it another try. Glad we're all in agreement for once. Give what another try? Oh right, this guy exists. You are aware I've been listening to you, right? <laughs> I kind of forgot about that, actually. It makes no difference if we conspire in the shadows or bear our intentions with open hearts. We are breaking your cruel cycle and whisking her away to freedom. Yeah! Exactly, my good man! Oh, are you now? Yup. 
Great, so you've obviously been here before, since you apparently died at least once. Twice, actually. <laughs> sure. Twice. Then I'll spare you the little introduction I had planned. No, no, go ahead you if you want. You know the princess, and clearly you already know that she's means so much to you. So don't muck this up. It's bad enough that this isn't your first time through. Well, we're not gonna muck this up, all right. Uh, we're got, this place is different. It keeps changing. Wonderful. If the woods themselves are changing, then that's all the more reason for you to take this seriously. It would mean your grip on things is slipping, which, in turn, likely means her influence is spreading. I notice you never seem to comment on the, the way the woods themselves look. Someone's in the know. Quite so. He knows far more than he's letting on, or he's letting on far more than he knows. Already said too much. The more information you have, the more difficult your task will be. Don't listen to her, definitely don't free her, and if you can, don't even think about her. And what if I told you that I'd I'd only kill her what if I told you straight out that I'd free her if you don't give me more information? Is that is your precious secrets more valuable than the world that you claim will be destroyed? You're a damn hypocrite, narrator. You don't have to worry about me. My head's always <laughs> empty. <sighs> Except the thoughts of her. Uh, head, uh, head empty, only princess. <laughs> I like this guy. He's like one of easily top five voices. Maybe top three. Hmm... Maybe. Maybe top four. Uh, I mean, there's Contrarian, then Paranoid, maybe Stubborn? I, I've seen very little of the Stubborn, but what I have seen is fantastic. Like, his line, Behold, the perfect woman. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, we're going to free her. Please don't. What do you have that would change my mind? You can't stop all of us, you villain. Let's just see how the wind blows. I'm not opposed to saving her, but let's not rule anything out just yet. Let's see what she has to say. Stop sitting on the fence and pick a side already. We don't need you waffling when things get hairy. <laughs> yeah. I've already picked a side. Our side. Exactly. I'm here to make sure that whatever happens, we wind up on top. Exactly. He's not sitting on the fence. He's on. He's just on his own side of the fence. Uh, I and I can respect that. That's why he's in the. Uh, yeah, that's why he's in the top five. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. Because that's worked out great so far. Wait, no, I forgot about the hero. He's in the top five too. Shit. Ah. Oh well. Well, we're not out of the game yet, are we? Exactly. And again, I'll have you know, I wouldn't have gotten us killed last time. I wanted to stab her in the back, not hand over our precious backstabbing implement. Right. You sure seem to be taking the whole looping thing in stride. What do you want me to say? It's bad that you've been here before. It's bad for you, it's bad for me, and it's especially bad for the world. The more times you run through this, the more likely it is that you'll fail. You've already failed twice. Um, uh, so you say. So you knew this could happen? Theoretically, sure, I knew this could happen, but I was supposed to be the first. I'd really rather not get into it. So you say. You... Uh. I don't care about where we came from, and I don't care to discuss the theory of anything. I yearn only to bring her freedom. I'm here to feel, not to think. I don't, I don't know about that. I'm definitely here to think, but sure. <laughs> then we can all move on and forget what I said about failure. It's important that you believe in yourself, and the fact you're here probably means that you still have a chance to pull this off and save the world. My world, at least. 
sounds like you've probably doomed a couple of others already. I need to stop talking. Think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thought of us making out with the princess. <laughs> okay. Well, no matter what happens next, it seems like all the, our answers are in the cabin. Let's see this through. It isn't long before you find yourself at the base of the cabin. I think it's clear where everyone stands at this point. Have you noticed? I think... Yeah, no matter what things change, the outside of uh, the shell of the cabin is always the same. For, I think. Although there's, there's thorns around it. Thorny brambles. I don't know if I'd say everyone. Are you talking about me? I have a position. It's a good one, too. <laughs> and that is that position making sure we survive by any means necessary? Ignore him. He's just talking for talking's sake. Your one to talk. is the only one that matters. You know what you have to do. Your, your position is the only one that doesn't matter. You're just a narrator. You're not supposed to be editorializing. And yet, that's all you do. The interior of the cabin is hardly an interior at all yeah, anymore. See what I mean? Yes. Burned out ruins merely suggest the shape of the structure that once stood here. Charred wood still reeking of ash. But beneath it lies the fresh smell of spring growth after rain. The promise of new life in the wreckage of the old. But that's a beautiful sentiment, isn't it? First of all, like I said, the outside of the cabin looked perfectly normal, yet the inside somehow is a charred wreck. That's a bit weird. And second of all, yeah. The charred wreckage of the cabin, which represents, I guess, our past. And the blooming life that represents the growth of the future. Just sometimes you just have to sacrifice your past and the present to build the future. Just like we did in Bastion. As above, so below. The only furniture of note is the crisp shell of what was once a table. A pristine... Wait, this isn't right? This is supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Good question. Perhaps because she already has it. We... we gave it to her last time. <laughs> she can't still have it, can she? Uh, who knows what she can do. Well, it's not here. If she has it, let me guess, you want to get all chummy with her. <laughs> as far as I see it, if it's between him and her, I say we side with the one who has the weapon. It's just the smart thing to do. Suppose. I wouldn't be so hasty. I'm sure the blade will turn up somewhere. Yeah, in her she hands. can't have it. That's not how this is supposed to work. I have, I wouldn't know. None of this makes any sense to me, frankly. Nothing ever seems to work the way it's supposed to here. If there even is a here. If she does have it, that's all the more reason to put our faith in her. We have already shown her our heart. Now she has to show us hers. <laughs> yeah, she we showed her our heart when we when she opened up our ribcage. <laughs> Unless her heart tells her to stab us, which doesn't seem unlikely, so yes, I agree. <laughs> Let's make sure we get on her good side. <sighs> How do we even get down there? The only thing I see is that mirror. You're right, the mirror is back. There isn't anywhere for us to go. But there isn't a mirror. I still don't get his angle here. Neither do I, honestly. I don't know why he doesn't see it. I'm fairly certain he doesn't see it, unless he's a really good liar. Which he is, so, I don't know. Either way, I say we take a look. It feels like it's been forever since we've actually seen ourselves. For all we know, our feathers are all out of place. And that's why we haven't yet won her heart. We must put our best face forward. Yeah, so that's why we haven't won our heart. It has nothing to do with the whole stabbing her in the back thing. <laughs> yeah, we can't go around looking disheveled. A real go-getter takes care of his appearance. Yeah! So, is the door to the basement behind the mirror? I don't think there is a door. <sighs> I promise you there isn't a mirror and there isn't a door to the basement. See? The entrance is more of a burned out frame than anything else and it's right there on the far side of the room. Do you really not see it? 
you step forward and approach the scorched entryway leading to the basement, hesitating before you begin the descent. You know what you have to do. Wipe away the grit from the mirror and behold our handsome features. I don't know why we even keep trying. <laughs> Same reason we keep trying in anything, I suppose. It went away when we touched it last time. You reach forward and wave your hand through the hollow entrance leading to the basement. You really thought there was a mirror there, didn't you? That can't be good. As if things weren't unpredictable enough. Alas, our fine features remain unseen. We'll just have to trust that she'll find us beautiful as we are. We noticed that it's different. Uh, that the mirror is the same in each, in the same place in each chapter. Uh, to the side, to one side in chapter two, in the front of the door in chapter three. What what will it be in chapter four? Last time we got to chapter four, uh, we we weren't we didn't see the mirror at all because we didn't enter the cabin. We were just already there. Hmm. Well, seems like the only way to go is forward, isn't it? Well, down, rather. Yes, that's where everything tends to be. Let's just put on a good face and have our wits about us. Yeah. You step through the frame of scorched wood and make your way into the darkness below. The stairs to the basement are covered in a fine layer of gritty ash. The air still feels warm, as if the fires that ruined this place had only recently been extinguished yet fresh shoots of thorny branches are already weaving themselves through the soot-covered earth of the walls around you. The, the, t the tower. Destruction brings creation and all that. Life through death. A romantic thought, certainly. Their spines point courteously down towards the basement, so you're able to brush past their jagged points with ease. At least on the way down. <laughs> But you don't need to think about the way back up just yet. That's a matter for after the world's been saved. These thorns are an expression of her pain. I know it. She's calling out for help. You know, you're, that's not, you might not be wrong there. You know, the thorn is expressing her pain and fear. However, the way they're curved f down uh, inwards, so, uh, invite, as if inviting us in. But, threat but threatening pain if we retreat. There's something very uh, metaphorical about that, isn't there? Her voice, worn down by pain and suspicion, hobbles up the stairs. I can't get away from you, can I? You betray me, I kill you, and you come back. You let me kill you, and you come back. Yeah, seems like we're stuck together, aren't we? Not the worst of fates, I suppose. I don't know why you let me do that. I don't know what you want from me. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing, really. <laughs> I don't really know myself, honestly. I don't know myself, to be sure. I don't know what I want. I never really chose to come here. I think you know how this goes. I'm down here and I can't leave. So, come down and talk. It's not like I can stop you. She... That voice... I hear that... I know that voice. I hear that voice every day. Pain hinged with apathy, born of despair. Yes, I know that voice well. You continue down the basement stairs, brushing past the smooth edges of thorns that grow more and more plentiful as you make your way forward. You step out into what was once a vast open cavern now overrun by briars and prickles and thistles, a space thick with hostile vegetation. Look at her. A blo uh, bloody knife clutched at her hands. 
her own skin torn and bloodied by the very thorns that she that she builds to to protect herself. Is any of this worth it? I don't know. May ha Is she even better off than the damsel? Yes. Yes, she is. I have to believe that, or... I have to believe that. And she will be, at the very least. At the heart of it all, encased in a tight weave of vines, is the princess. Her bloody, trembling hands clutching a pristine blade. Did you know this was going to happen to me? Are you here to watch me suffer? Are you here to laugh? You know the answer to that question, don't you? You ask it like you're expecting me to say yes, but you'd be surprised if I did, didn't you? wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm here to laugh. What do you? Th what did you think would happen if you killed me? Did you, th did you think I would hold it against you? Ah. I'm not here to laugh. I'm here to free me, free you, free myself as well, if you'll let me. I, I want to trust you. Her grip tightens on the blade. But you're hiding something, aren't you? Why would you help me if you weren't helping yourself? Is it... <sighs> is it too much to ask? Is it too out of the... Uh, is it too... <sighs> What's the fr- I'm just struggling to find the words. Is it too out there to believe that maybe, that maybe helping you is its own reward? That maybe, ah, uh, coming from me, I suppose. I don't know. You're not the only one who yearns for freedom. I'm as trapped as you are. I think we need to leave together. The princess clutches the blade closer to her chest. That sounds nice. I'm so tired of the bad blood between us. But it's hard to let it go. You've hurt me. Yeah. If only you knew how much I'd hurt you. But... Yeah. I don't know, but... It sounds... It's... The nice idea, anyways. And I think if we just continue to hurt each other, we'll be here forever. So, I trust, I, I'm not asking you to be the, to, I'm not asking you to put yourself out there. I'm just, I, I've already done that. I'm just asking you to meet me halfway. Her eyes dart away from yours for a brief moment. And I've also hurt you. Yeah. Only you knew how much. It's like this. Seems like this place just drives us to hurt each other and ourselves. That's... And maybe that's... Maybe that's why we're here, just to... Maybe that's why any of this is here. Just to hurt... Just for us to hurt each other. To hurt ourselves, and just... And... To snatch any... Joy and hope from us the moment we ha get it. But... We've gotta try. Don't we? You reach towards her bloodied hands, laying your palm on her trembling fingers. For a moment, 
she clutches it even tighter, her knuckles going white with the effort. Come on. Please. But then the tension fades. Her grip finally loosens and she allows you to take the weapon. I knew you could do it. I never doubted you for a second. Even if it took a thousand chapters, I know. I knew you could do it. That's... You carefully pull it free from the thorns, though they scrape at your skin, leaving red trickles of fresh blood all along your arms. Yeah. But... All knights must bleed, right? Blood is the seal of our devotion. And of hers, I suppose. She trusts us. She trusts us! Doesn't that set your heart a flutter? Yeah, Thornton. Yeah, it does. If only the contrarian could be here to see it. Yeah, a little. It could just be nerves. Being this close to her does bring back unpleasant memories, but... I don't know, it doesn't feel bad feels good. Like we're special to her. And who and who wouldn't want to be special to someone such as this? We are special to have gained an ounce of trust from a maiden so guarded. Now all that remains is to free her from her bindings. Just like the fruit of a cactus. It's the sweetest. Yeah, let's do it. Let's show her how much both of us have changed. Yeah, let's do this. Or, hear me out, we slay her right here, right now. She's <laughs> never been so helpless, and if we don't take advantage of that, we may never get another chance. Oh, wow. I mean, that's an idea. That sounds like a splendid idea. You should listen to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be, uh... God, that would be something. I see that the lines have been drawn. It's two against one. It's two against two. Actually, it's three against two. You don't count. <laughs> uh, and why shouldn't he count? <laughs> because he's clearly not one of us. That doesn't matter. He's been with us the whole time. He should get a say. No, narrators don't get right. So, did you mean it? Or was I a fool to hand my life to you? I just wanted my blade back. You're on your own. Wow! That's like the fucking... The jackass route. God damn. That's, uh... I'm almost tempted, but... No. Yes! What a good idea. Let's cut her free. <laughs> Uh, oh, so you're suddenly team free her. You can't just switch sides as soon as we make a decision. He can and he will, can't he? I can do whatever I want. And exactly. I with my whole heart that this is the right course of action. Let's free this princess. Yeah! Everyone deserves a chance at redemption. Exactly. Let him join us and be merry. We are all united by our passion. Exactly. This is all about forgiveness and redemption. It would be meaning. It would, it would make that. It would be churlish to deny the opportunist a chance to turn back to the side of righteousness and romance. Or something like that. That's right. What he said. Yeah. We've already given him a chance of redemption. And who says I don't deserve another? Yeah. I really mean it this time. I'm big enough to admit when I'm wrong. So I want to help you all free her. Yeah, I mean, we gave. Uh, I mean, uh, we gave the the princess multiple chances at redemption. Why can't we give it to him? Well, I mean, give him chances, but to him, not give it to him. He's a voice. I don't know how that would work. And I have no problem with that. Welcome to the team. You're one of us now. One of the good guys. Yeah. Take the blade <sighs> to the thorny vines imprisoning the princess, and she flinches relaxing only slightly as the blade slices into the thick vegetation rather than her arm. Yeah. 
Thank goodness we've got no reason to chop her arms off again. Uh, we're gonna actually have a fully armed princess this time. And that's... And if nothing else, that at least is worth all the trouble. <sighs> I'd go through a lot to ensure that I still had an arm, even betrayals and all that. And she flinches again as the last of the vines is cut away, as if, after all of that, she's still expecting you to turn on her and stab her in the heart. But you're not going to do that, are you? Still, all it would take is a single slip of the blade. Oh no you don't. You're not going to be fucking taking control again. Had enough of that shit. Such a pathetic attempt at distraction and subterfuge. Our blade is a dashing sword, and every dashing sword is an extension of its hero. It won't slip. Yeah. Good thing we actually have, you know, these voices backing us up this time, so that he can't pull that mind control garbage again. We have all the willpower on our side, especially with the opportunists coming over to it. You have nothing. Nothing. You're right. He can't even make it slip, can he? He's a bit of a nobody. Yeah. Good thing I've been on your side of all this since the beginning. Well, maybe not the smitten side, but my side at the very least. Yeah. Screw the narrator. What right does the what right does the narrator have to dictate our lives? And no, pa the no right at all. Falls into your arms, tears streaking down her cheeks. I can't believe you're making me describe this. I hate you. Describe it in even greater detail. Be- go purple with that prose. Be flowery. What you deserve. You actually meant it. You rescued me. Of course. I'm your dashing hero, aren't I? Even if it took a while. That's what- that's who I am. Do you see the way she's looking at us? Kiss her! Kiss her now before the moment ends. Yes! Yes! This is exactly... This is everything I've dreamed of! I just really hate the people who put us here, huh? Yes! We're never gonna get another opportunity like this! I think we haven't... We didn't even get to kiss her in the damsel route! Oh, this is... Ev it's everything I've dreamed of! Can we actually do that? Yeah! Now that... Uh, of course we can! No, you can't. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh. Since when were you the one in control? You know as well as I do that we can. And we wouldn't want to throw away a chance for a special moment now, would we? Yeah. If I were only capable of throwing myself off a bridge. Believe me, we all wish that. Well, are you going to describe our steamy, romantic kiss? You lean in, and you kiss her. Oh, come on! Fla Purpler! More flowery! You can do better than that! And... She reciprocates enthusiastically. You kiss Boo! Are you happy now? Boo! Come on now, this is the big moment! Yeah! Be better than that. Ugh, fine! You and the princess lock eyes and stare deep into each other's souls with all the roaring emotion that comes from letting what once was hatred turn into pure, unbridled passion. Oh yeah, this is good shit. Are you making fun of us? <laughs> and then, each of you close your eyes and kiss. Words can describe neither the nuclear fire nor the oceanic depth of your connection. Oh, yes. More, please. I think he actually likes romance. <laughs> if history itself were not about to end, historians would document this moment for the rest of time. Musicians would write era-defining ballads, and great artists would expend entire lifetimes trying to merely capture the spark you hold right now. Despite everything, you're enjoying this, aren't you, narrator? You've got a real talent for this, if only you stuck to describing things and not uh, going out of that purview. I think you'd be much happier. He 
he's making fun of us. It doesn't matter either way, because this is good stuff. Shh. I'm aware of my skills. Ah. Since the invention of the kiss, there have been five kisses that were rated the most passionate, the most pure. This one left them all behind. Unfortunately for you, the moment doesn't last forever. You open your eyes, the princess smiles gently up at you. Time for you to damn the whole world to oblivion, I suppose. Ha! This is the achievement. True love kiss. Kiss her. Uh, only 16.5% of players have this achievement. You 80, 83 and a half people, you are missing out. Nice. <laughs> That's one word for it. Her hand slips into yours, and the two of you rush to the basement stairs. And I'm saving that image. Say what you want about the damsel route, but do you get to kiss the princess in that one? I don't think so. Which makes all of this worth it. Oh. Just this timeless, beautiful moment. Of, as he said, hatred. The, the burning hatred turning into the most passionate of love. Because we were just because the two of us were willing to let things go, to let ourselves be vulnerable. It's, I wish this moment could last forever. Shameful, really, that the same thorns that so graciously allowed you downstairs are now blocking your only way out. Oh, fuck you, narrator. Please, after all the trials we've been through, do you really think a few measly thorns can stop us? Love is an even more powerful weapon than our blade. Yeah! It doesn't, it doesn't matter if we have to crawl our way through these thorns, uh, tearing strips of flesh off along the way. We are leaving together at last. We cut through those other vines just fine. They're only thorns. I'm not afraid of getting a few scrapes. <laughs> I'm not even sure we need to do any cutting. We can just move them out of the way. Huh. What a pathetic showing, really. Yeah, pathetic. Exactly, I described the narrator. He tries to dictate everything, but he's just a pathetic fool. Getting in the way of everything. A few pointy sticks can't keep us down here. We're both meant for so much more than this. Yeah, yeah. Just step into them. As you step into the thorns covering the basement stairs, they yield. <sighs> Look at that smile. I damn the whole world to protect that smile. Hell, I destroy it myself. Both you and the princess ascend the stairs without obstacles. This is unacceptable. The second you step out of this cabin with her, the world ends. Do you hear me? What did the world ever do to you to deserve this? I say. <laughs> well, if she if she wants to end the world, I say let her. What did the what did the world ever do to her that it would deserve to remain? Your nightmare is our dream. Whatever world would condemn star-crossed lovers like us to a cycle of violence and despair isn't a world worth saving. Yeah! We'll weave something new together. Yeah! Something better. Yeah! You and the princess hesitate at the cabin door. This is your last chance. We've already made our decision. We've already made our decision. Oh. What he said finally leaving here together, aren't we? 
and all we had to do was trust each other. It wasn't easy, but I'm glad we finally could. Yeah, trust. A powerful thing. Do, takes a, can take a lifetime to forge and a moment to break. And yet it is one of, most one of the most powerful things in the world, isn't it? <laughs> Not unlike you. So fragile, and yet you hold such power. Step into your freedom. I wish this moment could last forever. Turning Hands over a new leaf. The two of you open the door and step out into a new day. You irredeemable murderers. No, they it. Turning over a new leaf. Work through some issues. <laughs> That's another statement. And learn to trust again. Beautiful. What do we do now? Whatever we want. Well, where is everything going? Uh, right. I'd almost let myself forget. I wish this moment could last forever, but... I can't. Why is it so cold? I can't last, can it? How could I have forgotten? It's all gonna be over. All these, this moment and all the rest, everything that we are, will be lost like tears in the rain. Time to die. <laughs> you don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She really was She's gone. beautiful, wasn't she? Where did she go? Wild and, and find vicious her? and that thorny, and he went so far for her, for both of our sakes, trying to move past all the pain and the hurt this damn place perpetuates on us, perpetuates through us, and and now she's gone, like it was nothing. It's going to be okay. No sense burdening the soon to be dead. Just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. It already is. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt. Right? If they think it's bad, I'm with them. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Good. Good. You should trust me, even if I'm lying to you. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. In a sense, I suppose. Finally, we're going places. <laughs> uh, here we are, at the f final. Nice. She said that would all. Oh, that it was. So that makes five, and that grasping, that grasping monstrosity. That that was all that was needed. So we are at the end game then. But, this video is already long enough, isn't it? So you know what? I think, I think I'm going to cook you at the last second. This is where this video ends. It's a, good, it's a fine place to end the second to last chapter of the story, yes. Is. I don't know how long the ending will be, so 
I might as well end it here. It's, it's been quite a ride, and soon to be ended, in some manner or another. Afterwards, I might go back and see all the various paths and such, depend, depending on how this ends. But until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. Love and me your forest land.